In the heart of the Sahara Desert, there's a village where most of the residents are blind. But why? Is it a curse, a mystery, or something deeper? Stick around to uncover the astonishing story behind this hidden community. Today, we're virtually journeying to the Sahara Desert to explore a village where blindness isn't the exception. It's the norm. Located in the vast, unforgiving sands of Dali Gimba in Mauritania, this village stands out for one reason. For most people, just surviving here would be a challenge. But for the residents of this village, life is even more complicated because many of them can't see the world around them. Reports suggest that nearly half of this village's population suffers from some form of blindness, and that's what makes it so unique. How could so many people in one small community be affected by the same condition? Is it genetic, environmental, or just a strange coincidence? The truth is nobody knows for sure. Scientists and researchers have tried to figure out why blindness is so prevalent here. Some point to genetic factors, suggesting that the condition may have been passed down through generations. Others believe the harsh desert environment, lack of clean water, and limited medical care might be contributing factors. The sandstorms that sweep through the village carry tiny particles that can cause severe eye infections, which, if left untreated, could lead to blindness. However, without proper research and resources, the exact cause remains a mystery. Despite their blindness, the villagers lead lives full of rich culture and tradition. They found ways to adapt, using their other senses to connect with the world. Imagine trying to farm, cook, or even walk without sight in a scorching desert. Yet this is their everyday reality, and they've turned these challenges into strengths. They rely on touch, sound, and memory to get by, proving that the human spirit is capable of adapting to almost any situation. How they navigate their world. Let's take a closer look at how they manage to live day by day. Since they can't rely on their eyes, they've sharpened their other senses. For example, instead of using sight, they use sound to detect where they are in the village. You can hear children running around, their footsteps acting as a guide for others. If you're blind, you learn to identify people by the sound of their voice, the way they walk, or even by how they breathe. The entire layout of the village is stored in their minds, enabling them to navigate it with ease. Many residents use simple walking sticks to help them feel their way around. The sticks tap the ground, alerting them to obstacles, bumps, or even small ditches. You'll often see villagers helping each other, forming human chains when traveling outside the village to ensure everyone stays on the right path. They've developed an instinctive understanding of their surroundings that most of us would struggle to comprehend. One of the most heartwarming aspects of this village is the sense of community. In a place where sight is scarce, Helping each other isn't just an option, it's a necessity. Neighbors are always there to lend a helping hand, guide someone who's lost, or simply share a kind word. This strong bond is a survival mechanism, but it's also a testament to the human spirit's ability to build connections, even in the toughest conditions. What might surprise you is that this village is rich in culture. Even though they can't see, they sing, dance, and tell stories, using their voices and movements to express themselves. These traditions help keep their spirits high, you might think education would be impossible, but it's quite the opposite. Elders take the time to teach the younger generation using tactile methods. Lessons are shared through storytelling, songs, and even by touch. By feeling objects, they learn what different shapes and textures mean. This way, the knowledge isn't just passed down, it's embedded into their daily lives. What are their health and medical issues? Living in such a harsh environment comes with significant health challenges, especially when it comes to eye care. The biggest problem is that there are almost no doctors nearby, making it nearly impossible to treat any form of eye disease or infection. Imagine being surrounded by sand, heat and dust, knowing that even a small eye infection could lead to permanent blindness. Without access to basic healthcare, many residents suffer in silence. Another challenge they face is the lack of economic opportunities. Farming is tough in the desert, and even more so when you're visually impaired. Crops often fail due to the extreme weather, and livestock can be hard to manage. Despite these obstacles, the villagers have found ways to survive, often bartering or sharing resources among themselves. How is their isolation from the outside world? Being so isolated means they're cut off from modern society. There's no internet, very little access to news, and only the occasional visitor from the outside world. This isolation makes it hard for the villagers to access education, healthcare, and job opportunities. For the younger generation, it's a constant challenge to imagine a life beyond the village's borders. But here's the most incredible part. Despite everything, this village has found ways to thrive. You'll find some residents who have become expert musicians, 
using their heightened sense of hearing to create beautiful melodies. Others have become master storytellers, painting vivid pictures with their words. These talents not only bring joy, but also help to strengthen the bonds between them. It's an unspoken rule that no one is left behind, which is a lesson we could all learn from. In recent years, a few humanitarian organizations have visited the village, bringing medical aid and supplies. This help is a lifeline, but it's only a temporary solution. For real change to happen, more awareness is needed. By sharing this story, we can help shine a light on this incredible community and their needs. What this village teaches us is that human beings are capable of incredible adaptation. The residents have faced unimaginable challenges, yet they've found ways to live full, meaningful lives. They've turned their blindness into a strength, showing us that even in the darkest moments, there's always a way forward. What do you think? What other hidden stories would you like us to uncover? Until next time, keep your eyes open to the wonders of the world, because not everyone gets the chance.